up everyone? Today I'm doing a rapid review of prader willi syndrome. Have you ever heard of a genetic condition where the origin of the gene matters more than the gene itself? Well, that's the key to understanding prader willi syndrome. It's a special kind of inheritance called genomic imprinting. Genomic imprinting means that in some genes, only the copy inherited from one parent, either the mother or the father, is active. The other copy is silenced or turned off by adding a tiny chemical tag to the DNA in a process called methylation. In this special region on chromosome 15, a unique pattern of silencing is passed down. The genes from our mother's chromosome in this region are normally and naturally methylated and therefore silenced. So we rely entirely on the unmethylated active genes from our father's chromosome for this region to function correctly. But what happens if those crucial paternal genes are missing or non-functional? prader willi syndrome occurs, and there are three main ways that this can happen. The first is a deletion. A deletion is the most common cause, specifically a deletion of that key region on the paternal chromosome. And this is when the genes are simply gone. Next, maternal uniparental disomy, or UPD. This is when a person inherits two copies of chromosome 15 from their mother and none from their father. Since both maternal copies are silenced, there are no working genes from this region. And lastly, an imprinting defect. In this rarer scenario, the paternal genes are mistakenly silenced through methylation, just like the maternal ones. To help remember this, think of the P in prader willi and paternal. For prader willi the paternal gene fails to work. The lack of expression of these specific genes affects the hypothalamus in the brain, leading to a range of symptoms that progress with age. In infancy, symptoms include poor muscle tone or floppiness and a weak suck, causing feeding difficulties. This then shifts dramatically in early childhood. From childhood on, a key feature is chronic excessive hunger called hyperphagia. Because they never feel full, individuals with prader willi syndrome must have their food intake strictly managed to prevent dangerous obesity. Other symptoms include cognitive and learning delays, behavioral challenges like stubbornness and temper tantrums, and underdeveloped sex organs. And that's your rapid review. Hit that like and subscribe button for more quick study tips. Feel free to comment with your trips in the chat and I'll see you next time.